hello literature lovers today i want to discuss a very famous australian poet campaigner of aboriginal land rights judith wright she was also a recipient of christopher bennon award and talking about her other awards she was recipient of queen's golden medal for poetry so a very special part of australian literature and she was recognized by that and there are several other works related to it and she was really famous works including the moving image women to man the gateway the two fires birds the other half macpies shadows hunting snake and so other works she her main focus is on australian environment you know gaining prominence in australian art and especially in the years following world war second so this is something special because whenever we study an author we really want to discuss different places it's just like visiting or getting a tour of different places and it's so enriching if you can really able to understand the culture the whole history of that particular region since there are so many countries and almost it is impossible for us to visit each and every country and to spend a lot of time there to understand their culture their traditions their rituals but by their books if they are written quite clearly we can get a clear glimpse of what they are so the whole australian literature has that indigenous quality of being that aboriginal thing and i really heard it after my post graduation that how this literature was because in my post graduation i opted for linguistics instead of australian literature that's the reason why i was not aware of australian literature until i completed my post graduation so it was quite new for me and it's really has some sparkling effect on me i'm not sure about you since australian australian literature has something special and we have to analyze it accordingly and we can use different techniques to analyze this slice of literature and the works are quite rich and um i personally recommend if you are starting to study australian literature she is the right one and this her work will definitely give you the great better idea of studying it and she was nominated for nobel prize for literature in 1967 although she never received it but you can see that her works must be phenomenal to be able to do that and australia is a very big continent as well as a country so you can understand that how rich the culture must be and how rich the works are so and especially related to environment the environment is quite loving and you can she is also an environmentalist so you can understand that she was she has some special corner in her heart towards environment so i you must be aware of it and she is well known for her campaign in the support of the conservation of the great barrier reef and i am not sure and the fraser island i am not sure whether you are aware of it it's a very beautiful place in australia the great barrier reef and it's made by nature and it is so rich 
in natural content and the beauty of this place is phenomenal if you get an idea to visit there go for it and i personally refer if you can watch it right now on youtube you can go for it it's a very beautiful place and it is totally made by nature it's one of the greatest piece of nature that ever provided us but it is deteriorating because of human interference and she was the campaign she was in the conservation authority of it and with some other friends she helped found one of the earliest nature reservation conservation movements and this is the greatness of her that she was not only active in her literary genre but she was there with them in support of the environment and because of people like her the environment is in safe hands and they try to help them and right was also an emancipated advocate for the aboriginal land right movement so i'm not sure whether you this is a different kind of thing thing that aboriginals that is the native people of australia were facing problems and they were really in a problematic situation so she helped them is uh, tom scott with uh, reviewing with love and furry her posthumous collection of selected letters published in 2007 commented at her letter on this topic that is the saving of aboriginal rights uh, to the australian prime minister of that time john howard was almost brutal in its scorn shortly before her that she attended a march in canberra for reconciliation between non indigenous australians and the aboriginal people so you can understand how vast her life was and how she was able to understand it and she was also recipient of christopher bannon award 1976 and including human rights and equal opportunity commissioner poetry award for her collection 1994 so in both the genres and as an environment conservationist as well as poet she was remarkable remarkable and her works were rec- really praised throughout the world and as a poet and all sort of art conservation and indigenous affairs of australia she was really very vocal in that context in fact the judith wright center of contemporary arts was named after her so you can understand how it was in that and there was later on there was an award being named after her, the judith wright award and awarded as the part of act poetry award by the government between 2005 to 2011 for a published book of poems by australian poet and the prize is $20000 and was established 2007 by overland magazine so you can understand how her works were and i personally adore her works although i can express that i am not read much about her but whatever i have read it's really great it's really remarkable and you should go through it this will give you a very better idea of her works in australian literature and those who are interested in it and you can later on pursue it as a career you can study further about australian literature it is something really special especially those countries which are not easily we can go there and study or analyze since they are very expensive countries so we can get a glimpse of their culture and this will this gives us a very better idea of how to study it there are many collection talking about her poetry collection women to men 1949 women to child 
1949 again the old prison 1949 the moving image 1953 the gateway again 1953 Hunting Snake, 1964 Bora Ring, 1946 South of My Day, 1946 The Two Fires, 1955 Australian Bird Pumes, 1961. The bird edition is very special, and if you can make time for it, this will definitely be a great help, and you can go through it. Talking about her collections, this was the list I was talking about. Huge list of works. Really remarkable. And these are the list of poems. It's also part of criticism. She was quite active in that also. These are some of other works of Judith. These are the letters. As I have discussed, that her letters are very special. Fourth Quarter and other poems, 76. Train Journey, 1976. Eight, sorry. The Double Tree, all her works are there with a the great list. And there are works of criticism also, which I have already done because I invited its literary criticism work. 1975, Going on Talking, 1991. Her letters are very special, including the Equal Heart and Mind. It's letters between Judith Wright and Jack McKinley. And With Love and Furry, it's by Selected Letters. I hope you must have got an idea about her. Thanks.